Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today let's look at how to put on muscle quickly and what is a uh, potential or a genetic potential of somebody to uh, put on muscle. Now in bodybuilding or in strength sports, uh, genetic genetics dictates uh, the amount of strength you're going to gain uh, the kind of muscle you, uh, you're going to have uh, be it the quality or the you know the mass and everything so that's the primary thing based on that it depends on your uh, discipline uh, dedication in terms of training as a stimulant and diet as a uh, supplementation it's quite a, a vital uh, you know that you have great diet so as to uh, you know uh, have quality muscle and uh, have a low body fat so coming to genetics now uh, you know genetics dictates everything what kind of muscle bellies do you have uh, what kind of muscle insertion do you have and uh, how many square inch uh, uh, per uh, you know body you have the muscle uh, uh, in uh, you know uh, and uh, how good of a uh, you know uh, muscle uh, quality you have uh, be it uh, you know uh, in terms of having a mass or having aesthetics uh, when it comes to bodybuilding uh, it is very important that you have uh, aesthetically good physique or aesthetically good muscles whereas when it comes to strength sports like powerlifting weightlifting and uh, uh, strong men competitions then you need to have uh, strength right or uh, just not uh, muscles uh, in terms of aesthetics but you need to have great strength as well to do the uh, lifts required uh, in the sport so coming to the bone structure you need to you need to have uh, uh, you know uh, at least a medium quality of a, a bone structure not a very fragile one uh, like a very lean skinny guy but uh, not big bone structure as well if you have uh, moderately good uh, bone structure then you can put on uh, uh, quite a bit of uh, quality muscle and uh, mass as well now another important uh, factor uh, is okay firstly if you have uh, very thick bones and big bones then it's good for strength sports now if you have uh, you know uh, moderately good and like above average kind of a bone structure then it is good for bodybuilding because uh, uh, you know uh, bodybuilding is a visual sport and uh, uh, the length of the uh, you know the muscle is very important not the length of the bones but the length of the muscle insertion it is from the point of attachment to the point of origin now classic example uh, with people with amazing genetics would be uh, you know uh, somebody like Larry Scott he if you look at his biceps he has uh, very good biceps right uh, it starts for originates from right from its point of origin to all the way into his forearms so whereas somebody like Franco Colombo has short biceps there are other people as well uh, you know there is a gap uh, between his forearm and the biceps so that's that's like a uh, short biceps so people with that kind of uh, uh, insertion they'll have problem in terms of uh, uh, putting on uh, good uh, uh, particular body part we have, in this example it is a biceps now let's uh, say somebody has high calves or uh, uh, small calves uh, then they have that problem uh, whereas some people would have huge calf and very uh, uh, beautifully uh, shaped caps so that uh, it's not just dependent on the it's not like if you have uh, you know great muscle belly or the length of the muscle is long in biceps then it's the same for triceps no it can vary somebody might have a long biceps and uh, a shorter triceps or uh, you know uh, the muscles in the back might be the same it, it, it holds good uh, for uh, every body part so you're blessed that's as i said it's dictated by genetics somebody might have great upper body somebody might have uh, you know uh, average uh, lower body and vice versa so that all depends on the kind of genetics you possess of course you can train and you can uh, modify them but uh, not to a great degree you can just uh, uh, you know uh, work on the lagging part and uh, try to match uh, the one which which is uh, superior but to a certain degree when it comes to bodybuilding right now some of the all champion bodybuilders have great genetics compared to other people okay so already they are superior among them if you look at it uh, arnold has great uh, you know genetics mike menser had amazing genetics to put on muscle and also the thick and hard grainy uh, muscle same goes for dorinates sergio oliver was one of the freakish body uh, bodybuilder who had amazing genetics you have uh, bertle fox uh, you know 
so so and so forth now in comes in uh, in terms of strength for being uh, strong for power, uh, pound for pound uh, body weight ronnie colman uh, franca colombo these were the people who had uh, amazing strength as well along with a fabulous physique uh, so that that is something what uh, you need to look for and uh, Cassie Vieta is uh, another example who had uh, tremendous uh, potential. I mean, if you look at Mike Menzer or uh, uh, Cassie Vieta, they were all, uh, you know, huge and have possessed a great body uh, by the age of 15. So same goes for you. So we can't alter genetics, but you can train and you can uh, supplement uh, based on uh, your genetic potential. So that's, that's about genetics. So uh, do follow the high intensity principles outlined by Mike Menzer. And also you can look out my previous video and uh, all the best. Thank you. Thank you.